Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be installing a plugin and using it on our page here where we have a paragraph of text. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing this particular plugin here found at this web address just here. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and type this into your browser, uh, you can come on, you'll obviously come onto the page and we'll look at downloading it and, uh, and installing it on here. And we're first of all going to be looking at it in terms of sending a variable to the particular page. Uh, for example, at the moment we're on index.php and we're going to be highlighting a particular word. So for example, search. Uh, and the first thing that this will do is it will... Um, it will highlight any keywords with the uh, or the wo any words on the page with the search term search. So this word here will be search uh, will be highlighted. For example, uh, if we were to change this to a, for example, uh, every letter in here with a would be highlighted just here. Uh, so let's go ahead and first of all look at how we're going to install this plugin, uh, and then we'll go ahead and actually create this. Uh, in this way. Uh, we're then going to be creating a more dynamic search on our page using jQuery to actually search. So we're first of all going to be using uh, a form that will submit this get variable and then secondly we'll look at actually installing it with a uh, button and an event handler. So like I said if you go over to this page uh, we can come down here you can see a demo of this but we'll we'll skip that just for now uh, and you can download this file here jQuery.highlight.js so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and this just gives me the code for this plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy that and open up my text browser, uh, sorry my text editor. Uh, you can see I've got ext.js which is already included uh, in my page and I've got style.css which is included as a style sheet up here. Uh, we're going to be creating our form just here uh, but first of all we want to go ahead and, and create a file for this plugin. Uh, and also then include that on the page. So the first thing we want to do is create a new document and just paste the contents of this plugin in. Uh, we want to go ahead and save that in our JS folder and I'm just going to save this as highlight.js. So now I've saved this file. Uh, we can confidently go ahead and just close that off now but now we need to go ahead and include it on our page. Now ext.js is where we're going to handle our jQuery um, so we're going to do that in just a moment. Uh, however uh, we need to go ahead and include this um, include this uh, plugin first. So let's go ahead and say script type equals, and we'll just close our script tag off there. Uh, it's a text JavaScript type, so text JavaScript. And the source, we just need to go ahead and include JS forward slash, and then we saved it as highlight.js. So now that we've got this plugin uh, available to use, uh, we can actually go ahead and use it. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to include uh, the original functionality that I said uh, with regards to highlight equals search. Uh, I just feel this is going to be a bit too sort of long-winded and uh, everything. We're going to need an additional plugin to read the variables as well. So what I'll go ahead and do is we'll just go and do it the jQuery way. I guess that's a bit more appropriate as well. So, okay, inside another paragraph tag, I want to go ahead and create my form. So at the moment on my page, we just have this sort of paragraph of text. Uh, now what we want to go ahead and do uh, is just create, uh, first of all, a text input type, so text like that, uh, and then we want to go ahead and create a submit button as well, or just a plain button. So the type in this case is going to be button. So the value here of the button is going to just be find, and you'll see that gives us the result here. We've got a text input field and a find button. So we're going to go ahead and type something into here, click find. Uh, and the relevant information is going to be highlighted on the page. Now, as part of this, um, as part of this plugin, we're going to need to specify a highlight class inside style.css. And obviously, this can be tailored to how you want the particular word to be highlighted. For example, you could just want it bold, or you know, in any case, it doesn't really matter. In this case, we're just going to highlight it with a background of yellow, just to keep things simple. So we need a way to reference these uh, input fields or you know this input button as well using jQuery. So we're going to need to go ahead and give these an ID. So this one here, oh sorry ID, this one here is going to be search underscore term. So we can use that to grab the value of the text that we've typed. And here I'm going to call this search underscore button. Uh, 
Okay, so now that we've done this, nothing on our page has changed. We just have our text field and find, but we need to go into ext.js to actually pick up and apply an event handler to this button, uh, which will then in turn grab the value from this text field. So inside ext.js, we're gonna say document.ready. This just ensures that our document uh, has loaded, our elements have loaded, or our DOM is ready and available to use. Uh, sort of alternatively you could go ahead and use window.load but uh, that's um, not really required in this in this case so once our document is ready we need to set up an event handler for our button so I'm going to go ahead and reference or select our button which is search underscore button so we use a hash and then search underscore button and we want to add the click event handler to this now inside here once we've clicked this button uh, we're going to run the code just here. So the code that we want to run is obviously first of all we need to retra uh, retrieve the value that we've typed into here. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and create a variable and this is going to be called search underscore term which is going to be equal to selecting search underscore term and then dot val. So dot val in jQuery just returns the value of the search term. So I'm going to go ahead and just alert the search term out just to you know see if we've got everything working. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and type in here search and click find uh, and you see we have an alert dialog box saying search. So essentially what's happened is we've clicked the button. Uh, once we've clicked the button here we grab the search term using val from this search term uh, text field here. Uh, and then we just go ahead and, al and alert that out. Now obviously we don't just want to alert out, we want to highlight it. So at the moment we can't highlight anything unless we have a class set up uh, to deal with uh, the, well, to essentially highlight it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open highlight.js again just so we can take a look. Uh, you see that essentially what happens when we search is we create a span element uh, around this uh, particular, uh, sorry, around this particular uh, search term. So if we were to type uh, search in here and click find, a span element will be created around this search and the class that belongs to it, you can see here span.className uh, is equal to highlight.